हेलो बी एल लर्नर्स दिस इज अखरार खान तड़वी पठान लेक्चरर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्राम गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक हिंगोली आवर टूडे सेशन इज ऑन ऑडियो फंडामेंटल्स दिस ऑडियो फंडामेंटल इज रिलेटेड टू द कंज्यूमर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ब्रांच सो बिफोर स्टार्ट आवर सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर माई चैनल खिदर खान for more on this particular session that is consumer electronics and audio systems so let us start our session our session content is introduction to audio amplifier characteristics of audio signals types of audio amplifier block diagram of hi-fi audio amplifiers types of microphones and loudspeakers crossover network and there are different types of assignment for students to deal with it and lastly we conclude our session with conclusion so everything is start with a certain learning objective so here also with our session there are some learning objective the students or learners will able to learn after this session that is they are able to list different types of audio amplifiers they are able to draw and describe hi-fi amplifier compare different types of microphone and loudspeakers give reasons why crossover network is necessary and also able to explain the crossover network in detail so let us begin with an introduction of audio signal this is the audio signal you are seeing here basically the audio signal is deals with the signal frequency signal which is audible to human ear so that is the range of audio frequency is 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz then the audio amplifier is an electronic amplifier that increases the strength of low power audio signal signals composed primarily of frequencies between 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz the human range of frequency basically we are dealing with all audio system having the frequency range in between these audio frequency above this audio frequency means about 20 kilohertz all the frequencies are known as ultra audible frequencies and below this audio frequency that is 20 hertz we are going to said it as a inter audible frequency okay now the range is now divided into three sections that is inter audible frequency then audio frequency and ultra audio frequency so we are dealing with this 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz that is audio audio frequency now there are the different as we are dealing with the audio signal it means it is a sound signal having following characteristics like loudness that is the sound is either soft or hard depend on the amplitude if the amplitude is high then it is hard sound and if amplitude is soft then it is a soft sound then the pitch pitch means the sound having the characteristics of shrill or deep that is depend on the frequency if we are hearing a female sound with shrill then it's having high frequency and if we are hearing male sound then it is a deep sound having low frequency then the frequency response first of all the frequency means oscillation per second that is the range between this the device or the signal which is in between this 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz that is become the frequency response for this audio signal now selectivity selectivity means select the sound level actually the sound signal is selected for a particular audio device then fidelity it is a very accuracy maintained by signal itself is known as fidelity 
and the sensitivity sensitivity means a small a tiny response to the small signal and sound by the system so these are the several audio characteristics uh, of audio signal now one more characteristic is there that is higher and lower level of sound likewise here is the that audio signal in the next uh, slide we will go with the types of audio amplifier i am showing here different types of hi fi amplifiers some type of audio amplifiers and there are three types of audio amplifiers basically the first one is monophonic amplifier the second one is stereophonic amplifier and third one is hi fi amplifier so we will see one by one by differentiating with each other and this is the main diagrammatic differentiation between monophonic and stereophonic amplifier the first one is monophonic amplifier it means it have mono mono means one mic and one loud speaker here we see in diagram there is only one mic and only one loud speaker along with one amplifier that is why the system is known as monophonic phonic means it is a greek word it is phonic means sound mono means one only one sound is produced by this amplifier that is why it is a monophonic amplifier while talking about the stereophonic amplifier there are two channels two separate channels left and right likewise here are two amplifier systems then two mic systems two loudspeaker systems means everything is in divided into two channels it means it 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 produces a stereo sound that is why the sound amplifier is known as stereophonic amplifier there are several differences again it means my monophonic amplifier produces a one directional sound only one directional sound it will produce and this stereophonic amplifier produces a three dimensional sound monophonic sound amplifiers also have to the direction and sense of the sound but stereophonic have more sense and more direction of particular sound these are the some differences between this monophonic and stereophonic amplifier so we will go with third amplifier that is hi fi amplifier it means that hi fidelity amplifier hi fidelity as as we have already seen the fidelity means accuracy maintained by that particular signal so this amplifier maintain his accuracy at higher level so the amplifier is known as hi amplifier it means high fidelity it consists of following blocks some blocks block section block diagram as we have seen the two block diagrams of monophonic and stereophonic amplifier we are going to see the hi fi amplifier block diagram here is input section then pre amplifier section then equalizer then power amplifier section and finally matching circuit and loud speaker so we will see one by one with block diagram so this is the block diagram of our hi fi amplifier this is input section from where we are going to put our input to this system there are too many types of inputs which we are going to feed into hi fi amplifier like tape playback or cd or microphone likewise microphone is a basic fundamental input of our audio system which is used to convert our audio signal into an equivalent electrical signal here we use two switches for one for left channel and one for right channel to select our input we can select more than one input also by using these switches then our converted electrical signal is go through this pre amplifier which is used to recover the signal strength and losses whatever happened while converting the signal 
into an electrical signal after covering this signals into an electrical signal it will pass to the second stage towards the equalizer equalizer means it develop and provide the high signal to noise ratio to the signal and also differentiate the signal into different slot with various frequency slots then this differentiated frequency slot is transmitted towards this power amplifier this power amplifier is again providing the high gain to that particular signal with uh, high gain to that particular signal and then it will move towards the matching circuit the matching circuit having the characteristics to match the loudspeaker and amplifier input and output so that we will produce the proper output at the loudspeaker one another thing is there that right and left channel are attached with this balancing circuit which is used to balance the left and right channel to produce the output simultaneously and same finally the output section that is loudspeaker from where we are going to get the high gain sound signal the loudspeaker is a basic transducer which is used to convert this electrical signal into an sound signal so this is all about the block diagram of hi fi amplifier here we have seen the different section the first input section it includes the conversion of sound into electrical then pre amplifier section then equalizer then power amplifier with balancing circuit then matching circuit and finally the output section is of loudspeaker then we will go with microphone that is input section of audio system what is mean by microphone we have already learned that is it is a type of transducer used to convert sound signal into an equivalent electrical signal now here there are four types of microphones are there that is crystal microphone capacitor microphone carbon microphone and fourth one is dynamic or ribbon microphone they are designed as per the convenience and as per the accuracy sensitivity and various characteristics they have then the loudspeaker as we have already seen the loudspeaker definition that is it is a type of transducer used to convert electrical signal into an equivalent sound there are also various types of loudspeaker so we will see one by one according to the type of frequency range separated by them there are three types of loudspeaker woofer mid range is also called as squawker and third one is tweeter basically these are divided on the basis of frequency range now woofer have 16 hertz to 500 hertz frequency then mid range have 500 to 5 kilohertz and tweeter have 5 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz means 20 kilohertz to uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is divided into these three types of frequency to produce at the output with a certain limits also the woofer have largest size compared to mid range and tweeter and tweeter has the lowest size or small size compared to other two again uh, if woofer have the large size because it have to match the impedance to the air and here generally tweeter a uh, squawker is made in between this uh, tweeter and woofer in application of these types of loudspeaker is woofer is used in pa systems mid range or squawker is used in tv sets and tweeter is used in electrodynamics drivers there are more types of loudspeaker also even on the basis of uh, construction detail working principle and all now crossover network as we know that the sound is 
having a high range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and the frequency is directly not divided and going to different types of loudspeaker without a separator so to separate this frequency to the loudspeaker this crossover network is used whenever the signal comes from this power amplifier hi-fi system then it will goes to this network this is the network shown here in diagram two-way crossover network so the total frequency gone he goes uh, gone here then it divide the frequency by two way that is high frequency and low frequency by using high pass filter and low pass filter and remaining according to the loudspeaker used in front of them if you are using woofer then it must use the low pass filter and if you are using twitter then you must use high pass filter this is the graphical representation for high uh, sorry crossover network so why we need this crossover network is because crossover network is used to divide this frequency and avoid the cross overing of frequency to go through loudspeaker now this is the final uh, slide for this particular session you have to solve this assignment um, by seeing and searching on this particular ppt you have to di distinguish between monophonic and stereophonic amplifier you have to define various characteristics of sounds you have to describe hi-fi amplifier with neat diagram you have to describe any two types of microphone working principles compare woofer twitter and mid-range loudspeaker with eight points at least uh, the last but not the least conclusion the audible frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and above it is called ultra audible and below 20 hertz is called intra audible front sound signal have various characteristics to serve the various audio systems to troubleshoot these types of audio systems and its parts we are well aware of the working and construction detail of the system and final the audio system have input as a mic and output as a loudspeaker for all types of audio system so friends we have seen the audio system and audio fundamentals in detail so thank you thank you very much and again i would request you all to subscribe my channel for further videos thank you